All right, so here we are. Uh, turn versus Eternal. You said uh, who won the games? Uh, turn won on point of reach and Eternal won on the map gen. Turn won on map gen. Turn point of reach. And now they are here on Polar Depression, 10 by 10. And Turn's doing some incredibly crazy mech marine shenanigans. Uh, he's got two NGs and four mech marines at minute 145. And they're going down the middle to try and, like, get into the back, but the faster way, by cutting through yeah, mid. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of like it. It's uh, it's definitely possible. It's also It depends uh, uh, how greedy... I mean, not necessarily greedy your opponent, but this is definitely a map where you really have laps shine super hard. There are so many mechs of parade uh, in such final position. And you get flaps, you can make a lot of them. Uh, so I kind of like this approach. Pretty nice. Uh, also, I'd say that's, that's why uh, you, as, like as Eternal, for example, I would almost always make a, uh, a snoop and send it down the middle. Yeah, just to see what's going on. Uh, labs get their first kill on one engineer expanding to the bottom, but it's going to tip off the tank that's guarding the Hydro engines to come back and defend them. But that's okay, there's more labs. There's, there's just more. Don't worry about three it. Three labs will definitely be able to kill that, although Turn, of course, has no intel. The the, the big thing about something like this is that uh, you get such... Uh, how do you say it? Uh, you get the initiative. So Eternal is only focused on defending. That means at this point, Turn can send out all his expanding engineers and almost not get cared about being raided, because Eternal has to focus so much on defending versus raids himself. And... That can benefit you massively. There's a bomber from Turin out as well. Turin is gonna all out, and I think this is honestly the perfect map on it. Turin wants uh, to dictate the pace of this game and do nothing else. Just attack. Uh, we'll see if the two mech marines beat the striker on the right, though. I'm actually not 100% sure that they will. Uh, if they get Michael properly, they should. In theory, uh, they win. No, that's he. He literally didn't dodge his thing. Of course, sure. Yeah, they're going in. Striker just—it's gonna vet at some point. No, it's oh. three, three mass kills away. But that was uh, also the bomber died. And I Bomber? don't think it kills anything. It didn't do anything, and Mech Marine on the left side gets picked up for free. That doesn't kill anything either. I have to say the ID from Turn was good, but the execution was very, very questionable. He spent one Bomber and four Mech Marines to kill one Engineer? Yikes. I think so, yes. Uh, it's just that the Michael from the Mech Marines was... Uh, he kind of screwed that up because I, I know why kind of what happens. Uh, like, you have two mech marines versus one tank. You kind of go in, have both your mech marines selected, and you start dodging with both of your mech marines, right? But you only have to dodge with one of them because the striker is only focused on one. So if you can dodge with that one while the other mech marine runs like to the other side of the striker, so even if, if it kills the one, your mech marine will be like on the other side of the striker's gun. Uh, and then he will just like, you know, circle around it, just like what happened in the past with like a lab versus a mantis, where it's, the mantis could just not shoot back because it kept constantly turning. And you can buy so much time with that and then kill the tank. Like something like that. Of course, uh, turn is going to be like, oh, I'm too rusty for that combat. Eh? <laughs> but, uh, you know, like in theory, something like that, uh, should work consi considering Eternal kind of over committed with the striker. It got too close to the labs. Bit of an air fight, pretty close. Looks like Turin has numbers, but Eternal may be a slightly better turn. Yeah, Turin will clean this up and we get a WTF out of Eternal. Complaining about interceptors <laughs> not shooting. A classic. I, I recommend uh, my green. Yeah, Turin also snuck uh, two tanks on the top right, and those, uh... This is gonna be very annoying. It's gonna kill a lot. Yeah, 
It's gonna kill two mechs. I think he should ignore the Hydros, but... At least focus max. They are UEF structures, so two tanks will take a considerable amount of time to kill them. Look at the amount of E that Eternal has. He's overflowing 250. Uh, this is where I would... Uh, I mean, either get tech to air. He has some assistance already on it. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely get tech to air here with this amount of E overflow. I would... I was saying, like, maybe get a tech 2 or a gun. Although at this point I would rather get tech 2. But it's... I think it's too early. You're not really gonna be able to use it properly, but the early tech 2 air is uh, definitely gonna help you. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, a move on this map when... I mean, it's, it's just so hard to defend everything. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Turn doing nice aggression over on the left side. It's got a lot of tanks killing the mexes. There's follow up there. Yep. I don't know if uh, Eternal can keep this mid factory alive forever. I don't know. Turn is I rallying a lot of should... units in his base. I think he should be able to. The thing is, the left side looks very uh, dangerous. Where is uh, Turin's ACU? It's on the right side. Oh, so both ACUs will meet each other. Ooh, that's. I don't really like that, I think. I mean, I guess maybe he does it to shake things up because it's kind of meta. It's, I mean, you, you said it otherwise. Yeah. Uh, you, said, <laughs> you said this is normal. But for me, what the, like the turn move, it feels it feels weird. It I feels mean, the name. it might feel it weird. Feel, yeah. But people are weird. It so. doesn't feel like the natural expansion paths for an ACU. Especially, like... Like, uh, I've seen more people walk to the other side, actually, like, of, I mean, we've, we've watched two games of Polar Depression now, and three out of four people watch to the format. Right, maybe my meta knowledge is outdated. People have decided that the normal-ish thing is actually the thing to do. Imagine having worse meta knowledge than me. It must be very shameful. It's absolutely tragic. <laughs> I mean, you're just more hip and up-to-date on the meta than me farms. Imagine that. Imagine that. Uh, exactly. Left side is just a long-term problem for Eternal, though. There's tanks getting in the back. He's going to lose all those mechs. Right side pretty secure for Turin. And Turin Ooh. taking a great trade in it. Okay, so... By the way, Eternal is 2k up in Reclaim. It's 2.8k to 900 mass. That's quite significant. Did Turin not decide to get any of his Reclaim? Uh... No, all the trees are still alive. <laughs> so, not only that, I just noticed that Eternal, he finished this tech to uh, HQ land, which is good. But as he was finishing it, he queued up like four extra tech one factories. But that, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have that much mass, my man. Uh, Eternal, he's he's got mass in the tank. He's he's ready to burn it all. It's all fine. It, also, he has, a tech one, he has a tech one factory making tanks, assisted by like 10 engineers. Uh, up, up, up at 2 tech 2 already, my man. It's gone, that's like a juicy factory. It's called efficiency. He yeah. needs way more support factories, he needs to stop building strikers as well. Like, what I see for like around the 1800 range, what I think is a very common mistake for a lot of players is that the moment they hit tech 2 lands for, for most factions uh, and you're plan planning to go with tech 2 land spam they just keep on building tech 1 tanks for so long and it's such a waste especially like if you are i mean at some factions it makes sense if you're aeon making some auroras is still nice for that range right uh and then you have like maybe blazes or obsidians for close range but like as UEF, if you have pillars, you don't need strikers, period. Pillars are just so good. Pillars There's are just incredible. Absolutely zero reason, unless, of course, you only have one tech 2 factory and the rest is tech 1, then of course you build strikers, but that's why you upgrade them to support factories, so you can go mass striker and you go just strikers, uh, sorry, just pillars and tech 1 RTs. Somehow, and you just don't build strikers. Eternal has been keeping the mechs on the left side mostly alive, despite having vastly inferior numbers for most of this game. Of course, Pillar's now showing up will solve that problem, but now 
Eternal has gun on the ACU, and he's looking to make things happen on the bottom right. Pushing in, he's going to kill this factory. Nice shift deep from Turin, that's some effective DPS. He's uh, just going to chill. Oh, I'm a bit behind me. Yeah, Very Turin, creative uh, walls from Turin to sort of box off this random corner. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting confused a bit, and it's, you know, it's kind of free, so why would you? Uh, I kind of like it. I'd say Turin is a bit late on the tech 2 spam, but I guess their boats just mass tech 1 spam anyway, so. His, uh, he does have a tech 2 pigeon, but he's already spamming all the E. So, and he, does, he isn't getting ACU played, so that's kind of... Hey, I mean, spend your E, I guess. Uh, Eternal gonna get himself a T2P gen. Yeah, it's uh, hmm. a bit late. No, Eternal made this bronze uh, pack piece that's are not adjacent on the Tech 2 mix. Uh, Tech 2 support factories. Uh, it's okay, he's mostly assisting them anyway, so there wouldn't even oh. be any efficiency. That's true, but it's still, still inefficient. It is. Uh, it's I guess. It's definitely inefficient. I, uh, I have to say, I definitely don't like Turin's ACU movement. Like, he's, he's following some type of units, and he's killing them. That's nice. He's getting some exercise, you know, he picking it out. Gets a, he actually will get a vet. Uh, yeah, there we go. But, uh, like, him not getting an ACU upgrade, I kind of dislike. I also, mean... he... Okay, he did go to XUA. I was about to say, it's Turin. Where's the Janus? Here are the Janus. Eternal yeah, doesn't want to push in with the gun, which is almost... Why did you get gun? Yeah, he's... he was too scared. And I don't know if it's due to a lack of intel, let me see. And now it's uh, Janus time. Oh shit, it is. Let's go... T1 army, you don't exist anymore. Sorry yeah, Janus is uh, gonna be absolutely brutal on there's no T2 flak on the left side, except I just made myself a liar. There's a support factory building just T2 flak for now. Big fight in mid. Uh, I think Eternal might have overextended here a bit. It's gonna leave a lot I, of reclaim on turn side. Yeah, that's, that's all gonna die. I honestly think that the Janus, they might just win the game. Because there's no not a real counter to them. And I feel like, like they're already they already paid for themselves. They already killed so much oh, on the left. They just killed like so much there. Like they all have 400 mass kills already. Already paid for themselves. Plus, Eternal is gonna win the air fight at them. At some point, Eternal is gonna like try to kill them. But Jane is a like, good fighting for his other ATs as well. So oh. if Turn micros it properly, like the army on the right is now gonna die as well. Yeah, I mean what? Just like what? One, two flax here. Gens don't care. It will just kill the flax. Oh my god, yeah. And then they'll kill you. Could Eternal just die here from the Janus? No, I don't think so. The ESS Tech 2 support factory. That's being uh, bombed. <laughs> He's down to 6k oh, wait, HP. Oh. oh, you're on plus two, I didn't know. Yeah, I'm sneaking around, being very sneaky. How dare you? Uh, he's actually being bombed and turn one there was actually an air fight on the left for some reason <laughs> while this was going on. Which I don't know is really I guess Eternal wants to try and win the air uh but, but, but yeah the Jets don't win it. Wait, wow. they actually killed you? I thought they can't. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> That's BM. This <laughs> is BM. You know bombers they can and will kill you.